up, you guys. I pressed a button. I don't know what I pressed, and now I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. Okay. So, a um, couple other things about moving in your home. Oh, this is where we do quiet time. And for quiet time, I just, it'll be an hour and a half to two hours, which is so important. So, after we're done playing here, we have our lunch, then we settle into quiet time. I know I don't have to say anything more about this because we are all probably Nazis right now about quiet time. Um, make it just a cozy, comfortable place. She gets iPad. I'm resting. As many of you know, I'm reading The Long Winter, Laura Ingalls Wilder. It's such a good book for this time. It has helped in my mind. Um, just kind of settle into the Ingalls family and their struggle in that long winter. But it's been such a good place for me to settle some of my feelings of scarcity and fear and um, being a mama when you're not sure what the next day is going to bring. Um, anyhow, be thinking about what you're putting in your mind right now and also um, have some fun. I'm almost done with it, so I could use some good book recommendations. Um, let me see. I wrote down a couple things. Um, yeah, so pick a space, like I said, where you're going to do like the brunt of your activities. Um, we do the dining table, tuck things away, think about the rhythm of your day, make sure there's lots of spaces for you to just kick back and let your kids do some free play. And then there's other times where you really get involved. Um, I didn't mention after we do our Zoom preschool time in the morning or, or our music with the mayor. Uh, we go outside and, and we go in the front yard and play for a while and then daddy joins us on a walk before lunch so we can get out and get around. And that's really important when you think about the rhythm of your day. Um, something else I wanted to point out is if you don't already have this, I think this is the perfect time to ask our Lord. When I was going through the hardest time of my life, uh, believe it or not, this is not the hardest. I was in my 20s. I was living in Tucson, Arizona, and I asked the Lord, Lord, would you give me a symbol or something that would remind me of your faithfulness, your involvement, that you see me um, in my days? And what came to mind was a yellow rose. And the desert is a funny place to find roses. However, it was unbelievable how many times that yellow rose showed up. And it's always been a sacred invitation to pause when I see one and remember that God of the universe loves me, is intimately involved with my life, and wants me to know his deep affections for me, that we could be in a beloved relationship together. And um, it is so important. And so I think it was like... The week after all this hit, you know, the week after our last MOPS um, meeting, my neighbor quickly kind of social distances and hands me a couple gifts for the girls and then hands me these yellow roses, which I can't bring myself to get rid of because they're such a precious reminder. When she handed them to me, I went, have I ever told you this? And she said, no. And I told her about the yellow rose. And um, I pray that the Lord would give you something like that, and I know he will, um, that you could hold to to be reminded of his great love and affection towards you. And um, as you hold on to that place, you would find rest because all our souls are weary right now, and you are not alone, and you are deeply loved. And um, as the mama of your house, you are invited with Jesus to oversee and with the, your husband. And so really, your kids pick up on what you're giving off. And so something that's so important in this time, which is easier said than done, but is to go to that center space where our Lord dwells and abide with him. And that doesn't mean just sitting down to have a quiet time. It means conversational intimacy throughout your day, connecting with God and leaning into him and drawing upon him and confessing to him and laughing with him and crying with him and being frustrated. It, you live in a broken world with fallen people and you're one of those fallen people and gross the stuff you're seeing in your heart. This is intimacy. 
It is not about doctrine. It's not about getting it right. It is about intimacy with God and letting him form and shape us. And I pray that in this time, we would all come out knowing Christ more intimately. And I'm preaching to the choir. (laughs) And what's so great is he is so intimately involved in this time for all of us. So I hope you've enjoyed our house tour. I hope I can be a resource to you. Um, My website is suzyfittler.com, S-U-S-I-E. And um, when we come out of this, I would love to help you with your homes. Maybe we can even do FaceTime things. Um, But I pray your home would be a sanctuary and that you could create a functional and beautiful space and develop a new rhythm for your family. And we will change to another rhythm. Um, So much grace. God bless you guys and take care. Bye-bye.